Chapter 8. All the people gathered themselves together as one man into the wide place that was in front of the water gate. And they spoke to Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which Yahweh had commanded to Israel. Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, both men and women, and all who could hear with understanding, on the first day of the seventh month. He read from it before the wide place that was in front of the water gate from early morning until midday, in the presence of the men and the women, and of those who could understand. The ears of all the people were attentive to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a pulpit of wood, which they had made for the purpose, and beside him stood Mattathiah, Shem, Aniah, Uriah, Hilkiah, and Moshe on his right hand, and on his left hand, Padiah, Mishael, Malchijah, Hashem, Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Mishalam. Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, and when he opened it, all the people stood up. Then Ezra blessed Yahweh, the great God. All the people answered, Amen, Amen, with the lifting up of their hands. They bowed their heads and worshipped Yahweh with their faces to the ground. Also Jeshua, Bani, Sherebiah, Jamin, Akab, Shabbatai, Hodiah, Mosiah, Kalida, Azariah, Jazabad, Hanan, Peliah, and the Levites caused the people to understand the law, and the people stayed in their place. They read in the book and the law of God distinctly, and they gave the sense so that they understood the reading. Nehemiah, who was the governor, as with the priest and the scribe, and the Levites who taught the people said to all the people, Today is holy to Yahweh your God. Don't mourn nor weep, for all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go your way. Eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to him for whom nothing is prepared, for today is holy to our Lord. Don't be grieved, for the joy of Yahweh is your strength. So the Levites calmed all the people, saying, Hold your peace, for the day is holy. Don't be grieved. All the people went their way to eat, to drink, to send portions, and to celebrate, because they had understood the words that were declared to them. On the second day, the heads of fathers' households of all the people, the priests and the Levites were gathered together to Ezra the scribe, to study the words of the law. They found written in the law how Yahweh had commanded by Moses that the children of Israel should dwell in booths in the feast of the seventh month, and that they should publish and proclaim in all their cities and in Jerusalem, saying, Go out to the mountain, and get olive branches, branches of wild olive, myrtle branches, palm branches, and branches of thick trees to make temporary shelters, as it is written. So the people went out and brought them, and made themselves temporary shelters, everyone on the roof of his house, in their courts, in the courts of God's house, in the wide place of the water gate, and in the wide place of Ephraim's gate, all the assembly of those who had come back out of the captivity made temporary shelters and lived in the temporary shelters. For since the days of Joshua the son of Nun to that day the children of Israel had not done so. There was very great gladness. Also day by day, from the first day to the last day, he read in the book of the law of God. He kept the feast seven days, and on the eighth day was a solemn assembly, according to the ordinance. Chapter 9 now in the twenty-fourth day of this month the children of Israel were assembled with fasting, with sackcloth, and dirt on them. The offspring of Israel separated themselves from all foreigners and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. They stood up in their place and read in the book of the law of Yahweh their God a fourth part of the day. In a fourth part they confessed and worshipped Yahweh their God. Then Jeshua, Bani, Kadmiel, Shabaniah, Bani, Sherebiah, Bani, and Chenani of the Levites stood up on the stairs and cried with a loud voice to Yahweh their God. Then the Levites, Jeshua, and Kadmiel, Bani, Hashabneh, Sherebiah, Hodiah, Shabaniah, and Tethahim said, Stand up and bless Yahweh your God from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. You are Yahweh, even you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their army, the earth and all things that are on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The army of heaven worships you. You are Yahweh, the God who chose Abraham, brought him out of Ur of the Chaldees, gave him the name of Abraham, found his heart faithful before you, and made a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Jebusite, and the Girdishite, to give it to his offspring, and have performed your words, for you are righteous. You saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt, and heard their cry by the Red Sea, and showed signs and wonders against Pharaoh, against all his servants, and against all the people of his land, for you knew that they dealt proudly against them, and made a name for yourself, as it is today. You divided the sea before them, so that they went through the middle of the sea on the dry land, and you cast their pursuers into the depths, as a stone into the mighty waters. Moreover, in a pillar of clouds you led them by day, and in a pillar of fire by night, to give them light in the way in which they should go. You also came down on Mount Sinai, and spoke with them from heaven, and gave them right ordinances and true laws, good statutes and commandments, and made known to them your holy Sabbath, and commanded them commandments, statutes, and a law, by Moses your servant, 
and gave them bread from the sky for their hunger, and brought water out of the rock for them for their thirst, and commanded them that they should go and to possess the land which you had sworn to give them. But they and our fathers behaved proudly, hardened their neck, didn't listen to your commandments, and refused to obey. They weren't mindful of your wonders that you did among them, but hardened their neck, and in their rebellion appointed a captain to return to their bondage. That you are a God ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abundant in loving kindness, and didn't forsake them. Yes, when they had made themselves a molded calf, and said, This is your God who brought you up out of Egypt, and have committed awful blasphemies. Yet you and your manifold mercies didn't forsake them in the wilderness. The pillar of cloud didn't depart from over them by day to lead them in the way, neither did the pillar of fire by night to show them light and the way in which they should go. You gave also your good spirit to instruct them, and didn't withhold your manna from their mouth, and gave them water for their thirst. Yes, forty years you sustained them in the wilderness. They lacked nothing. Their clothes didn't grow old, and their feet didn't swell. Moreover, you gave them kingdoms and peoples, which you allotted according to their portions. So they possessed the land of Sihan, even the land of the king of Heshbon, and the land of Ard, king of Bashan. You also multiplied their children as the stars of the sky, and brought them into the land concerning which you said to their fathers that they should go and to possess it. So the children went in and possessed the land, and you subdued before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gave them into their hands, with their kings and the peoples of the land, that they might do with them as they pleased. They took fortified cities and a rich land, and possessed houses full of all good things, cisterns dug out, vineyards, olive groves, and fruit trees in abundance. So they ate, were filled, became fat, and delighted themselves in your great goodness. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against you, cast your law behind their back, killed your prophets that testified against them to turn them again to you, and they committed awful blasphemies. Therefore you delivered them into the hand of their adversaries, who distressed them. In the time of their trouble, when they cried to you, you heard from heaven, and according to your manifold mercies you gave them saviors who saved them out of the hands of their adversaries. That after they had rest, they did evil again before you, therefore you left them in the hands of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them. Yet when they returned and cried to you, you heard from heaven, and many times you delivered them according to your mercies, and testified against them, that you might bring them again to your law. Yet they were arrogant, and didn't listen to your commandments, but sinned against your ordinances, turned their backs, stiffened their neck, and would not hear. Yet many years you put up with them, and testified against them by your spirit through your prophets, yet they would not listen. Therefore you gave them into the hand of the peoples of the lands. Nevertheless, in your manifold mercies you didn't make a full end of them, nor forsake them, for you are a gracious and merciful God. Now therefore, our God, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who keeps covenant and loving kindness, don't let all the travail seem little before you that has come on us, on our kings, on our princes, on our priests, on our prophets, on our fathers, and on all your people, since the time of the kings of Assyria to this day. However, you are just in all that has come on us, for you have dealt truly, that we have done wickedly. Also our kings, our princes, our priests, and our fathers have not kept your law, nor listened to your commandments and your testimonies with which you testified against them. For they have not served you in their kingdom, and in your great goodness that you gave them, and in the large and rich land which you gave before them. They didn't turn from their wicked works. Behold, we are servants today, and as for the land that you gave to our fathers to eat its fruit and its good, behold, we are servants in it. It yields much increase to the kings whom you have set over us because of our sins. Also they have power over our bodies and over our livestock at their pleasure, and we are in great distress. Yet for all this we make a sure covenant and write it, and our princes, our Levites, and our priests seal it, 